To find the derivative, we will use the formula dy by dx is equal to limit s tends to 0 f of x plus h minus fx whole divided by h. Thus we must know f of x plus h and fx. fx is already given to be ax square plus bx plus c. In order to find f of x plus h, we replace x by x plus h in the given expression. So this becomes a times x plus h whole square plus b times x plus h plus c. Expanding using binomial formula, this becomes a times ax square plus twice xh plus h square. Distributing we get ax square plus twice axh plus ah square and from the second term bx plus bh plus c. Now substituting in the formula we get dy by dx is equal to limit s tends to 0 f of x plus s that we just calculated we copy it here and minus fx means each term of fx will be placed with sign changed minus ax square minus bx minus c and this whole divided by h. Now plus ax square cancels minus ax square plus bx minus bx plus c minus c. Now only three terms remain twice axh plus ah square plus bh. whole divided by h. Since all the three terms have h common, we take h common. Now here numerators h cancels denominators h and what remains is twice ax plus ah plus b. In the limiting process, as h tends to 0, ah also tends to 0, so what remains as limit is twice ax plus b, which is derivative of the given function.